Why is three on three a good business model for someone? Well, for a startup business, there is a low startup investment with very low risk. So for a startup business, there's not many other rock solid businesses that you can get into for this low of an investment. Basketball is really popular. More kids ages nine and up play basketball than any other sport. There's not a lot of competition right now for three and three. Nobody else is really doing it yet. It's a pretty new concept. Not that people don't know about three and three basketball, but there are not a lot of people out there offering three and three options to players and families. It's a really good time to get started on this and do like we did and establish yourself as the three and three expert in your community. The best players in the world are getting into three on three basketball. We know we have the big three, the former uh, professional athletes. It's in the Olympics. It's uh, college players are playing three on three. So it is really growing in popularity. And once the younger players see the, the top players in the world playing three on three, you know they're going to want to follow suit. It has been proven. There is a system. And when there is a proven system, that means other people can do it too and it's a profitable business model. Both Mike and I, we gave up our teaching and coaching careers to do this and we're better off for it. And I wanted to show you a couple of scenarios of some estimated profits you could get from your leagues. So here you can see we have the three on three basketball league estimated profit calculator. And I was having a lot of people ask me questions about how much money could I expect to make or what would my profit be if, and I really couldn't give people a solid answer unless I had all these different variables from them. So uh, I created this estimated profit calculator and you can play around with it. Um, you're gonna enter in some answers to these top six questions up here, and then you can see how your bottom line changes. So if you're running a four week league, you're gonna look here at this blue line. And if it's a five week league, you look here. And what's gonna happen is these are our different expenses up here that we have to take into consideration and what happens is we figure out your total revenue the amount of money that teams are paying to be in your league and then we're going to subtract all the expenses that those variables are going to give us up on the top and then the blue line here is the estimated for a profit for a four-week league or a five-week league now this is going to account for your facility costs the hourly rate that you're paying your staff and your t-shirt expenses. If you have some other expenses, maybe you have some fees associated with your online registration or website, or maybe uh, liability insurance or an email service or your advertising, all of those things are not factored in here. But let's take a look at how this works. So the first question is how much does your facility cost per half court per hour? So it's, it's basically how much does one basket cost? And uh, let's just say around here it's about $25 an hour for a court, but maybe let's it's say it's ex more expensive where you are and say you're getting your court for $30 an hour or maybe $40 an hour. You're going to take that number and divide it in half because you have two baskets there. And when I hit enter or when I hit return, you're going to see that the bottom lines are changing down below. How many baskets or half courts do you have? Eight would be a great number. Maybe we could say you have a smaller facility and you have six baskets. Again, you'll see the numbers changing below. What's the hourly rate that you want to pay your staff? I have $20 an hour. Maybe you're going to use high school varsity players and you can pay them $15 an hour. And how much are your shirts going to cost? Uh, we'll stick $5 in there. How much are you going to charge for a team? Maybe in your area, things are just a little bit more expensive. So your price could be a little bit more than $210. let us say you're going to charge $225 per team for your league. And then I entered in 70 teams. Now, when you first start out, you're probably not going to have 70, 80, 90, 100 teams right away, maybe. But let's just be a little bit more conservative and say your first league, you have 50 teams. All right, so if we were running a four-week league, you would be uh, seeing a profit of about $7,000. If you're going to run a five-week league, you, it, you can see here it's, it's a smaller number, which doesn't make sense. But you're probably going to charge more than $225. So maybe you're going to charge... 260 whoops 260 for your five-week league 
and then instead of 6,000, now you're seeing 8,000 over your five week. So you can just have some fun playing around with this, putting in some different variables based on the, the cost that you're, you're finding when you start researching what facilities cost and t-shirts cost and how much you're going to have to pay people. Um, and then, you know, be conservative yet, you know, optimistic and ambitious about how many teams you're going to have in your league. And you can see um, how this number can really grow over time and you can run more than one league and you know then that just gets multiplied by the number of leagues that you're going to run. So I hope this tool is really helpful for you and gets you excited and you can see the possibilities here with 3 on 3 basketball.